thank you, thank you, Aaron. Um, so I talk about uh, building your own framework, and um, if you want to do that, maybe it can be inspirational. Uh, to start, a bit of context. Um, I'm working with the French government on something that is called um, Startup Data, uh, which is uh, translated as start state startup. And uh, it's a match between um, a team and a mission. And uh, in, uh, in our case, it was about uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, um, also known as drones, so I will say drones because I can't pronounce the other ones. And um, in that case, we have to experiment for six months um, on w what, is, what is possible, because the law in France has just uh, passed, and we need to verify that it's uh, technically feasible be before um, it's uh, output it to the citizens. So um, we made uh, an experiment with a map, and uh, our constraint was to handle every position for drones on all the French territory. And uh, we estimate, estimate that at uh, roughly uh, 50,000 <coughs> 50, requests per second and, uh, in Python. So uh, we would like to do that in Python, because we are a team of three Pythonists, and we like that. So at, at first, we so, oh, it's okay, it will, no big deal. And then uh, we understand that we have to do that just on one server, and uh, it was uh, kind of hard to, uh, to imagine. So, so we start with that, and uh, we all have some experience with uh, Django and Flask, and uh, we knew that we can't go uh, with these performances with uh, such a framework, so uh, we tried Falcon. Uh, who knows about Falcon here? Right. And uh, then we uh, we found Sanic, uh, which was a, a very um, very new when uh, six months ago. So uh, we were very uh, impressed by the performances. And uh, oh, by the way, did you get the anagram? Yes, exactly. So that's why we we get to the to the async word of uh, Python three, and uh, that was very. Uh, I don't know, it was uh, surprising how fast it was considered to the some more concurrence. So, so um, but we think, uh, we, we tried with Sanic and then we, we think, okay, at the end it's just a couple of places and uh, maybe we can go even faster than it. So uh, it's some kind of uh, competition when you try to uh, do your own framework, you, you store some parts, you give some insight from people in the community, and you, you try to, uh, to participate too and to declare bugs uh, when you get it. So uh, the first things we did uh, almost is to, uh, to run benchmarks, and even if it's um, most of the time lies, big lies, uh, it, it, it gives you um, some, uh, some input on what is for that, we use the tool the W work key. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe work. Um, uh, who knows about it? It's basically some uh, like AB, um, the Apache benchmarking tool, and uh, but on steroids. So you have a lot of better things than AB. And uh, our philosophy was um, to get as much small little libs uh, loosely coupled uh, together. So um, that's our approach, and uh, you might have your own. It's very interesting to get um, to, when you create your own framework, you can get very specific on what you want to achieve. In our case, it was handling re incoming requests and uh, sending JSON most of the time. So beware some code. Uh, so we, we tried to, for a benchmark, to get the smallest native code when we are code the, the response, like here. And when you do that, and um, so you, you have to get a loop to, uh, to create the server and to run it. When you do that, you know, it, it's not really uh, friendly. So we, we tried to make that a bit more dynamic and a bit more, more uh, easy to, to deal with. So the next <coughs> thing we did is uh, just to try to see which, which part we want to, to have in our uh, framework. So it's called role, and it's about 
the 300 lines of code. And when we did that, um, can you get what is? Uh, can you guess what is the pen performance drop uh, from the outcoded version to that one? Try. No. So wh when we did that, we lost about 63% of the performance just uh, trying to be a bit more dynamic and with a better API. So we were kind of, whoa, it's scary. And uh, when we compare with the, uh, the, the concurrence, we, we were still better. So that's what pushed us to uh, release it as an open source framework and not just keep it internally. Um, <coughs> Amongst the, the optimizations we made, uh, there is most of the time uh, we get more speed by using uh, Cyton, and my coworker even called it Python 4. So um, he's a bit crazy, but he, he made what I think is one of the uh, fastest routing system, which he called Auto Routes. And uh, we reuse the magic stack HTTP tools uh, that the they are also doing the UV loop. Maybe you know it. So we <coughs> we use uh, only two uh, two requirements, which are these two ones, and uh, the other thing is just a, a few hundred uh, of lines. So if you want to just re even read the code. It's really simple to understand how it works, and that might be really interesting. Um, one of the key takeaways, uh, because I, I go further, is that uh, even if you don't uh, code your own framework, uh, take a look at what you are d uh, is doing in your current web framework, and all the hacks they are doing for uh, inconsistency in HTTP spec and so on. So first, uh, do it. Um, I don't know how much time I get, but first do it. Um, I learned a lot of things while doing it, and uh, um, but y you have to be careful because uh, sometimes you have to dig into the specifications of uh, HTTP cookies, uh, requests, and etc. So, <coughs> and uh, more interesting, it, it builds some confidence on what I can produce and what my my team can produce together. So that was really interesting. Even if at the end the the, the framework is not in production, uh, it's really interesting. And the second takeaway is don't do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it really it, it do takes time. So. Um, be aware of that, and if you don't think you have a very specific case, uh, just reuse uh, an existing framework. It will be quite easier, and you, you will not have to maintain something else. And uh, lastly, yes, don't do it if you think it's not uh, pertinent for your for your use case. So that's it. Uh, I write I wrote everything on my blog, so uh, with the links and uh, and so on. Um, it was short in 10 minutes, but if you want to drop me a mail, or I will be there in the within the next days, so please come and find me. Bye. Thank you.